Welcome back to another episode of Aboard the Guiding Light. We're going to continue our exploration here in the Abacos, Bahamas. My name's Shane McClellan, and as always, I'm your captain and host. In this episode, we are going to leave the Hopetown Anchorage, where we finished the last episode, and visit the southern Abacos. Even though the South Point in the Sea of Abacos is only 10 to 15 miles away, relatively few boats journey this way, so you will get the feeling of getting away from it all with only an hour or two of travel. Our first order of business is sailing by Lover's Quarter, where you have a small community and a friendly bar. On the other side is the south end of Elbow Key, the same island Hopetown is on. This entire area is only about six to seven feet deep, so if you have a draft of six feet or more, you need to watch the tide, which is about three feet. When the tide is out, Tahiti Beach is a favorite because you can walk the nice sized sand flats which dry out. Now we are going to anchor next to the mainland at Snake Key. This place used to be a commercial dock used to haul lumber and other resources. It is completely shut down now, but if you like to poke around ruins and snorkel shipwrecks, then this is a good place for you. Another thing you can do is take a dinghy tour snaking around the island in a maze of mangroves, rocks, and islandettes. Now, back to the boat. If ruins are not your thing, then maybe snorkeling at the Pelican Key Land and Sea Park will be. Enjoy! The south end of the Sea of Abacos is capped by the almost perfect anchorage at Little Harbor. And here, you will find Pete's Pub and Gallery. This unassuming bar beckons you to come in, and I would have a hard time naming a place I felt comfortable in as quickly as I did here. In the 50s, Pete's parents sailed into the harbor and never left. His dad built a foundry and lived a simple life sculpting. Pete has continued his dad's work and built a gallery for some amazing sculptures by his dad, him, and now his son. In fact, you may even get a tour of the foundry. This is a fantastic place to visit and wait out of front if you need to. Since there is a beach, good snorkeling, and you can gunk hole around the bite of Old Robertson just outside of the entrance where you can hunt for blue holes. While here, Check out the caves where the family first lived as true Swiss family Robertson. You can sail to our last stop, but I chose to walk to Cherokee Sound. This perfect little fishing village is rarely visited, so you will be a bit of a novelty. One of the two things to see is the longest dock in the Bahamas at 770 feet, or one-sixth of a mile. Every several years, a hurricane damages it, but the town is so proud of it, they always fix it. The second place to see is the memorial to the local fishermen. If you will permit me, I'd like to recite a poem I found on the backside of the memorial. Oh, for a soft and gentle wind, I heard a fair one cry. But give me the steady breeze and white waves heaving high. And white waves heaving high, my boys. The good ship tight and free. The world of waters is our home, and merry men are we. Everyone, that concludes our time here in the Abacos. If you join me again, we're going to continue our exploration of the Bahamas. My name's Shane McClellan. I'm your captain and host.
until I see you again, may you have fair winds and following seas.